All right, uh, we're gonna continue this. We're gonna call it uh, Toolbox Store Part 16 of 2024. Um, son has a, uh, I guess he's in the nurse's office. He has a headache or something and she wants to get him home. So um, he's gonna get picked up because uh, the lady's on the road and she's on her way home. So she's gonna stop and grab him. And I guarantee when he gets home and he sees the TV on, he'll be just fine. Never fails, but nonetheless, we're gonna treat it seriously and get him home. Um, but continue on as I had that awkward pause, saw the phone ring. Um, uh, not sure why he's touching the TV, but anyway. Uh, OTC 5912, crimp wall angled wire crimper. Um, this is brand new. This is really just like that uh, Mac, um, like supply and drive that I was talking about. Um, where, you know, well, those are two of my recent purchases. The only person I've ever seen talked about these were, um, what's his name? Jimmy making it work. Jimmy making it work? Yeah, in Florida. I think that's where he's out of. And he had mixed reviews on these, um, has a cutter. Um, I pulled a trigger on these because one guy was selling for like 110 bucks and the next guy was selling for like 77 bucks. It's like a no brainer. Um, as far as if you're looking to purchase, but this is slightly misaligned. Um, probably something that you could just beat with a hammer if you want to cure that much, but. Yeah, now I can throw it out. I literally had it for a day or two. Uh, we're continuing here, so I um, should get this done. Uh, this here is a two part. This is a quarter drive and um, lock in quarter drive. It's like a three piece. So I'll just grab the shorter pieces. So it has a little end there. You can. You can like daisy chain them if you will. Um, then you got like two handles and you got your drive in that's locking. Um, so again, a unique tool, a uh, unique, uh, yeah, ah, there we go. That's what it is. So. And then here's the 3 8 version of that. I'm not certain they sell a half inch version. I didn't look too hard. Um, I got this from the same seller. Um, usually if you can flip these around and put this cardboard on the inside of it, especially if you're gonna keep these things, it will keep it more firm. Yeah, I've talked about it before. You heard people mention if you fill these with foam, but that's definitely a commitment to buying foam. Uh, as we continue, all right, so here's that continuation of that Cornwall purchase. This is a smaller set. Actually, this is SAE, so I don't think, do I? I might, no, I don't. So um, I do wanna get the top off SAE version or the larger set to this. I do believe they have a larger set, but it's like the double flex uh, wrenches that I showed you. I don't need to take it out um, fully. But yeah, I think Cornell is the only one that I see with these. So that's why I have them. Um, and then this is the smaller, this is the large, the metric sizes um, goes from eight to 19. And then the top off version goes up from 19 to 23 or 22 or whatever, or from 20 to 23, 24, I don't remember. But yeah, this is the double, double flex. So you don't, uh, I mean, I could have waited and tried to find them, um, find them, uh, what do you call it, used, but I just pulled the trigger on it, just get it out of the way. Um, these foam pads, this is an epic disappointment. So I do have, so these go with these um, Max Sledge and, there's good in a 
there's a good part to this and there's a sad part to this. So these are meant to, obviously, you whack, you put this on there, you got a fastener, say this is a 14 millimeter. You put it on there at the perfect angle, you have it onto the, the, the bolt and then you whack it and then it's gonna provide shock and whatever, shock and awe. Let's go after general shorts, short. Um, but these you're supposed to put on there and they're supposed to prevent you from whacking your hand. I don't, I mean, yeah, it is something that's gonna provide some amount of cushion, but how about you give me a solid metal piece that's not gonna flex and make contact with my hand or it's not gonna rip and tear and like lose its like, you know, place after a time. Like, I feel like people make tools and then they just, I guess we all do it at some point in our lives, right? It's like a track and field um, runner, you know, given their all, you know, given their bolt, and then at the last like 10 meters, they're like, oh, I won the race and they slow down and then someone passes them because they're like run through the line. If you're making a tool, make it all the way through the end to include all the way from uh, research and development all the way till it gets in the hand of the consumer as far as like purchase price or sales price and the de delivery method and the, the packaging, right? And I feel like this is where they drop the ball on this. But the good side of this, um, so I bought two of these. One was expensive, and then I found this guy selling for cheap. So I bought it, like I said, in the last Toolbox Tour 15 video, um, my approach to buying tools. Uh, well, he, I got a random text from a random number over Christmas, and it was like, hey, I mailed you that thing, and I forgot to put a piece in there. And the guy was just saying he forgot to put this in there. And in fact, the first one I got didn't have any of these in there. So I didn't even know that this was a thing. So when I got it, I was like, oh, cool. And then he was like, oh, I forgot about it came with two or something. So maybe you're supposed to put them. Well, you, can, you definitely can't fit two of them on there. It's just made for one foam pad, but yeah. I think you guys get the point. Um, did I buy these twice? What did he do? Um, but anyway, this is the platinum 20 or 21, 22, 24, 25, um, flex wrench spline, um, big boy. So it's like the top offset. So again, something that manufacturers do, you know, they'll, they'll claim that everyone does not need the full big boys, but I'd rather just buy it as a complete unit than have to buy individual pieces. But hey, it's probably a money-making thing like these bad boys. Um, so this is a Cornwall version and 21, 22, 24, and 27. So they're really only the size that it difference here is 27. Um, which I use on my uh, my yard max tractor to remove the the little push blade that it has. Uh, what is what is he dancing to? Um, but yeah, that was a new perch. Uh, was it new? I honestly don't remember if it was new or not. Here's the SAE version um, in that um, part. 15 video um, that I had to end prematurely there. Um, so both of these videos will be uploaded simultaneously. Actually, I'm just gonna do one, wait till it uploads and then do the next one, just because, yeah, why not? Um, and I will eventually go back and renumber these. Once I get done with them, I'll go back and renumber all the videos. Like, you know, I don't know. I'm hoping I don't hit version 30 of these videos but at the rate I'm going I might um so um which I've never seen any toolbox store that lengthy on, on YouTube but like I said um so I'll go back and do like let's just say it's 30 one of 30 two of 30 just so there's people will know there's more to the series um and if they go to my channel they'll be able to find them in you know quick succession but I don't know how many parts there is going to be to this thing, so that's why I'll go back and I'll kind of rename them, um, like one of whatever Toolbox Tour 2024, and then I'll just put the basic, like a 
broad title like for this it would be like I don't know use tool I don't know use top tier tools or something hashtag snap on Mac go Mac Cornwell Again, one of those purchases that I was searching for high and low, didn't want to buy new, and I found it. This guy clearly used his scrap. And my phone is gonna die. Gosh, man, can't catch a break. So I'm gonna finish this top portion. I'm gonna run for my charger just so it doesn't die because I'm not about to remake this. Um, this guy clearly used his tools. This is the SAE version. Um, this handle is pretty chewed up. He, uh, Took a, a file to it and uh, got some use out of his file. Um, and then we got the metric version to this. Of course, we have to have the metric in the SAE, right? You can't just have one and part numbers up there. Um, yeah, so there's that. And these are just some foam pads. These are the cutoffs from the Harbor Freight um, thing, but I figure I'll probably find use for them. I really like these Harbor Freight uh, mats. They're very sturdy. Um, actually, yeah, these would be good if I get more additional drawers. Instead of buying those um, cheap ones that they come with, I can just cut these down to size. So there you go. And I have I have a couple of them in here from all the the cutoffs. So. I do plan to get some more additional um, Harbor Freight or those icon slide out um, and uh, go from there. So let me go grab this, uh, this charger real quick. I should have one in the garage here, but I don't. See if I can get this thing to go behind my back and yep, it will work. I should uh, prevent this thing from dying prematurely. Um, so yeah, we got some tools. And uh, so the next portion of this, um, I just collapsed this thing all the way down. Be a lot of bend in here. All right, so this is just all the smaller stuff. I can't get this tripod any lower. Um, but nonetheless, I'll, I'll hold it in my hand. So I, let me here, get this so I can 
put stuff on the floor. So I got several 14 4 chargers coupled with the little other. Oh, I don't have them. I don't have any with a magnetic thing on it. So, or sorry, not chargers. These are all batteries. So all these kits came with batteries. Um, so I did not go out and buy any of these brand new. Um, that's the only one that looks different. All of them are like the black ones. Um, so right here, I got what, two, four, six. Yeah, two, four, six, eight. Eight chargers. Um, so I think I'm good, especially if all I want is a 14 4 lineup. Um, I definitely, I will say, uh, the, the Snap On um, 18 volt, I believe it is, does not impress me it looks bulky um, as a unit I can't speak on the power but you know at the price is right it is right um, but for, for my from my perspective it just looks bulky um, temp gun so and you can hook up with your probes in there infrared thermometer um, it's a pretty warm day out today doesn't feel like 71 now, for sure. Um, and that temperature might not be accurate, by the way. Highly doubt it is. Um, this is a mess. So these right here, this is a Mac 3.8 um, chain drive. This is a Snap-on 3.8 chain drive. This is your half inch Mac chain drive. And then this is your three eight our quarter drive chain drive. So one snap on. So it looks like we got to get the rest of the snap on, huh? maybe. Um, and then while we're in here, we got this bad boy platinum. So now we got a twenty seven and a thirty. So the saga continues. So one day it'll be nice to have a wrench drawer that all those kind of things fit in. And this is my only, um, the only, uh, what do you call this? You know what I want to say. I can I not say the right thing, but yeah. This is the only one of these tools I have in my arsenal for like filters or cans or whatever you want to open. Um, these, I guess, were pretty coveted. Um, but I didn't know that, but these are the old school chain drive they're sealed actually they're sealed but you can knock these out you can knock out these pins um but they're pretty nice they're solid actually and i have went through and i got all of them to include doubles i got a second a second one of those Well, uh, let's see who he's talking to real quick. Sounds like he's, he's saying mommy, but.
Yeah, normally I wouldn't make a video if I was going to be um, having to attend to him full time. But I thought she said three, not ten. Anyway, um, half inch drive of this. Um, so we do have the three eighths on the floor, two of the three eighths and a half inch drive. Um, someone's going to see this and say, man, you're a two order. Um, I guess if that's what you call it. My only, actually I have a snap on, but this is the only Mac professional wrench I have, and that's because the price was unbelievable before I even looked up what the actual cost of this is. But I do like this push button lock. And it's reversible. So that lives on. Uh, this is from my, yeah, this is from my, uh, my OTC, uh, just shop equipment stuff. Here's a snap-on, old school, just, uh, just an engine, just a rotating tool. It's a half-ton capacity snap-on. You don't have to use it to rotate engine, you can also use it. Uh, so, Mac spark plug again. Probably the green that got me. Um, it's not my primary air chunk, but I bought it because of the kind of like a dually feature on this one. It's a blue point, it works. I, I changed the battery, so it works. And then we'll continue on with these. So this is a, so these are different. I found them as a set and it was already sold and it was actually marked by um, some guy already. So, um, some guy to sell her I bought it from, put some respect on it. But this is a 17 mil, it's a three H drive, 17. So. Saw those, didn't know they existed, thought it was unique. I tried to grab the entire set, um, but some were already sold. This is a 10 um, quarter drive, by the way. <laughs> and this one is a Dakota 13 3H drive. So when I say I like unique tools, I like unique tools. And then this is a quarter drive um, of this. So you already saw the half inch right here. Let's see. Tilt this down. You already saw the half inch right here, and then I got two um, three eighths. And now there's a quarter drive to this. To complete that set, this right here is a 15 millimeter of this Dakota three eighths drive. And then this is oh, I guess I have two quarter drives, but the part number is JWT1. I didn't necessarily show all the part numbers, but if you're ever interested in the part numbers, I can certainly go back and I don't get a lot of comments, so it's nothing for me to go back and just find it and respond, especially if you give me a timestamp and a kind of brief description. Uh, nothing new, but I put it on here because I lost my 10 millimeter in my Acura engine bay, so I just need to get a replacement for this genius um, quarter drive set. It's typically my go-to that I grabbed. As much as I don't like these trays, but yeah. That's why it's good to have lock-in and or magnetic. But yeah, I lost it, couldn't find it. I'm pretty sure it's under some under panel. So it lives there. Uh, bought this set of turbo quarter drive sockets. Um, one of them was missing and the guy was nice enough to mail it. You know, I asked him, hey, do you have that stuff? And he was like, yeah, it's actually on the table. I package the stuff on, so he mailed it out. So, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is for this OTC setup. Shop equipment stuff. All right. This is putting a strain on my back. Um, RBRT set. 
again, the wrenches. Um, so, yeah. This is a smaller one. A reminder why. Come on. This is a reminder of why I I probably will never ever invest in a snap-on socket because I'm not sure why. I mean, obviously use and stuff, but these you've always heard that metals are soft on the snap-on impact side, and um, this was my first uh, running with that. So you know, the more times these stuff get boogered out, obviously it comes loose. They do have their warranty. I'm a DIYer. I don't never been on a food tool truck. I'm not gonna taste a, chase a tool truck. Um, and I'm not gonna buy tools to appease a franchisee to warranty stuff. If that's truly how it works. Um anyway, digress. This is that same setup of that Cornwall, but this is like snap on. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Well, yeah, it's the same thing. So it's blue point. Same as the thing, it's just probably this guy got some handles and um, press fitted on there. But he was selling them. I bought them at a premium price because they're green. Um, and one of them does not ratchet. So, what a, so it's, it's complete gobble gobble of the metric sizes, but the handles are pressed on, they're green. Well, I say they're pressed on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that for a fact. Um, saw this on CP's channel. Um, and I thought, well, it's an old school. Who makes this? Bernard. But I do. So it, looked, it has a cutter right there, which is geniusly designed into there, into this uh, neck. So that's cool. But the reason why I liked it was... Well, why did I like it? Is this a thing? I thought it was one. Well, it has a groove that's cut into it right there. I thought, hmm. I thought I liked it for other reasons. It's definitely not for the cutter. Maybe I'm, I'm referring to the wrong tool and the wrong individual. Uh, you know what? It might be a, the pass-through. It has like a little pass-through feature, which I thought it was more pronounced, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, if you think about it, so the it's not one through shaft that goes all the way through, so you can see there's like a, you can see on the opposite side, you can see my finger. So, you can pass something through and like pull on it. I thought it was unique, nifty. So, found it. Uh, this this box is just a hodgepodge of random stuff. Um, so these these are from Mac. It's like a actually let's just take out the larger stuff. So this is a set of Snap On SAE. Um, I do have the, the, what do you call it, the SK version of these, and these were loosey-goosey. Right. And there's this guy, which kind of SK, kind of bit driver, a little bit. Um, then there's this Mac. Not sure if you want to call these a palm or what you call these, but Vim also makes them, but Vim makes a three piece set. Um, and I think this one is missing the 13 and the Vim has a 13. So I'll probably eventually get the Vim just to have that 13, which do I use a 13? I don't know. You never know uh, who makes this. Easy red, little bit driver set. Not sure where that came from, why it's down there. 
This is one of those OG original ones. I don't know what you call them. But yeah. Is this the one that's... That works. There's one that I have that doesn't work. Um, and then there's the baby version to it. So. Um, these, I've honestly not used them a whole lot, but I can see my the need for them. Like, they're flexible. They're from CTA, by the way. Um, it's a four-piece set. It goes sizes, let's see, five, six, seven, and eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. Um, but these are nice because they're bendable. So ben basically bendable nut drivers with a handle. there and this is a top off version of this uh, Mac RBRT metric set I still don't have the SAE version of this but I'd like to someday it's just I've lost track of tools and I don't see the need to really buy tools just to buy it to to have a set I'd like to but it's not my immediate priority so sometimes some of these stuff take a, a back burner um, if I come in the garage and I'm just chilling, you know, looking at tools, because I do that from time to time, right? Um, not necessarily using them. Um, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of curious. Do they have like a, you know, a top off version, a larger size, an SAE version? And that's usually where I find it, um, or add it to my search criteria. All right, let's get this done. Uh, so here's another set of these. Um, so I do have enough tools to build like two toolboxes, basically. Um, but this is a, what is this? It's the SAE version. This is a smaller set. So, um, if I do sell some of the stuff that are doubled up, I'll just make sure I get what I, I'll just make sure I keep the good ones and I'll disclose if there's a broken one. That's just, I'm not going to keep the broken one. Um. All right, here is a more complete set of those um, CTA type wrenches. Um, again, your um, metric sizes, but these are beta. Um, so this is a six piece versus a three piece set. And if I, so we got sizes, what? 5.5, 7, 8, 6, 5, and 10. Um, and this is by beta and then again these have those flex you know for tight areas or you just need that, that additional angle Oof. um let's pull it out might as well we're already doing it uh so this is that long double flex or flex kind of um spline drive so these are super long. I would really like to get the the top off sizes and the SAE version of these. Um, so that lives there. I'm pausing in between grabbing tools because I just dread grabbing stuff. Um, this is that, uh, it's kind of like that Tekton set I initially showed, but. This is a blue power double flex. You can lock that side and you can have that going for you, or you can just like straight lock it in and make a straight, you know, or do this bad boy. So I guess it's like three parts straight. So we got straight, we got that, and then we got that. And then we got maybe four. Uh, I'm kind of miscounting now, but these are, it's like a three piece set. It was part of that whole 
purchased a thing from the the Roy Kuhn cool dealer or tool dealer, not Kuhn dealer, tool dealer. All right, um, those are just my three 14 Ford chargers and the associated charging cables. I'm not gonna pull them out because, and then last one on this, actually it's not the last tool, but last one on the cart is this uh, Cornwell long um, half inch drive. So I showed it when I got it. Um, this has like a huge Phillips end on it. Uh, it just doesn't come out. You gotta use a, a large Phillips to get it out. Um, when you, once you pull this plug out though, and like I said, it's half inch drive, reversible, non-locking. And airplane is loud. The guy's at max power. But you pull that piece out and then you have this extension shaft which has the lock-in um, pin. Well, it has a detent here, pin detent, and then a more positive lock. And so this thing is, I don't know how long, stupid long, like 30 inches, I wanna say. And then you have an adapter here from half inch to three quarter inch. So you figure for that amount of leverage, you can get up to that size. So. Yeah, um, this was another eBay find. I've only ever seen one guy talk about it, and I knew when he talked about it, um, not because of him talking about it specifically, but when I saw it, I knew I wanted it. Um, so the last two things that I'll show, and I'll just shift the camera over to show them, are these two uh, brake bleeder. Um, you saw I have several different setups of brake bleeders. But this is the snap-on version. It did not come with any of the kits. Um, I'm not sure if this hose is starting to fray right there, but it looks like it's replaceable. Um, but it did not have come with any of the adapters. Um, so I'll have to invest in that. And I think the adapters are sold separately, or it might have been sold as a kit. I will say though, this thing is really funky inside. So all it is, this is a pressurized chamber with like a, let's see. It's a pressurized chamber with a rubber um, bladder. So right here, this is how to release the pressure. Just a little pull. And there's three, three locking tabs on it. Screw it, sorry. Um, that basically is just thread on there. It's been used by the previous owner. But that is a rubber bladder and it gets pressurized air that goes in there and squeezes that bladder and that's how the fluid goes up. Um, or gets extracted, sorry, creates a vacuum. But when I got it, ooh, it just had this really gnarly smell. Um, so I'm just putting it back together off camera here. But yeah, I have to, uh, I'll just leave the latches undone. No need to put strain on the latches just because. And then I have this Mac. Uh, the reason I got this is kind of like the basic setup, but obviously you just need a, it's an air bleeder. You can lock it in place um, and bleed. But the reservoir is bigger. So usually when you're bleeding brakes, depends on how much fluid you're gonna use. I typically use a bottle um, per, per side. Um, and sometimes the smaller containers just start overflowing on you. So that's why I got that. Anyway, this cart is done. Um, and whew, that was work out. Especially when I got down here and it was just like bending over, picking up smaller pieces. So 
I'm gonna put this back together. And part 16, as we always say, like and I eat a thing.